Today, most microprocessors are not only depicted by their speeds, but also by their number of cores. For decades, CPU performance grew exponentially, which was due to increasing chip densities and faster clock speeds. Prediction for this type of growth can be accredited to Gordon E. Moore. But by the turn of the century, chip designers were confronted with a new dilemma. As frequencies increased, so did a chip's power consumption and heat dissipation. If performance growth was to be maintained, a new approach had to be taken. Early microprocessors consisted of a single CPU, and features like multitasking made it possible to run multiple programs concurrently, given the illusion of parallel processing. But at the core, these chips executed their task in a serial manner. Designers started toying with the idea of working multiple CPUs in parallel. Like a job broken down into smaller tasks and then distributed to a group of people, workloads can be divided and executed across multiple CPUs, also known as cores. This is considered through parallel processing, which greatly improved performance and all without the need for higher and higher clock speeds. By the mid-2000s, multi-core CPUs hit the market. Today, the number of cores within a single chip can range from 2 to 4 to as much as 18. And that's just the consumer-grade chips. Server-grade expands even higher. But multiple cores aren't enough. The applications must also be suited for parallel processing. So many developers had to rework their code to take advantage of this new hardware feature. But when working together, the performance benefits are undeniable, which is one of the reasons why we have multi-core CPUs today.